PRMI Mortgage, primeres.com slash alpine. Are you in the military looking for help for a VA loan? Well, if you're looking to buy or refi, or if you're considering a reverse mortgage, call our local mortgage guy that you can trust. Call Chris Wiley at PRMI Mortgage. For nearly 25 years, Chris has been helping local San Diegans with all their mortgage needs. Give Chris a call at 619-722-1303 or primeres.com slash alpine. All right, Joe jermisi has got a gear review, and it's called the Seahorse Case. It's a pretty uh, cool-looking case there, my friend. That's right. So I keep all my seahorses in this. <laughs> this works great. Sure um, Seahorse Protective Cases or Protective Equipment Cases is the um, – the company that makes these, and um, they make a variety of cases. They make, um, you know, this happens to be one of their gun cases. They make cases for all sorts of equipment. Um, they've got their commercial off-the-shelf kind of cases. Um, they make completely customized cases. They do stuff for um, industrial uh, uses. They do stuff for the military, do stuff for commercial. They do stuff for private people like this. So um, what this is, this is an example of their um, one of their gun cases. And um, you can see uh, it's a very nice looking case and it's very solid. Um, this is a, uh, they say crush proof kind of plastic material. And um, if you look at the latches here, and I've had cases before uh, for different for equipment and things over the years in my career. And uh, these latches are really, really nice. They're, you know, when you pop them open, uh, they're pretty solid. When they lock, they uh, turn this way and now, whoops, this way. And uh, these guys are locked. They're really solid and nice. And it's not a hard locking mechanism. It seemed like it went pretty smooth. No, it's not. It's you can feel a definite click. So you can feel it. Yeah, clicking. yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, these are really nice. And I've, like I said, I've had other equipment cases in my engineering life and stuff that were like this. And uh, these, these are really solid latches. Also, uh, for guns, since we're out here in California, uh, there's molded holes here on the side. I don't know if you could see these, Rich. Um, for padlocks, so you could actually lock oh. this with a hard lock on, right. on either side or both sides if right. you like. So when you flip these guys open, um, on the inside, this is uh, one of the versions that they have, and uh, this is for this will hold four semi-auto. I was going to say four guns. Four se That's a John Wick box, and uh, yeah, it's very nice. Um, and I've tried different. They say it'll hold guns up to a 1911. Um, it holds all of my Glocks. I tried, uh, and I've got a, a full size, you know, 34. I've got a 19, which is a compact. Um, I've got a 26, which is a subcompact. All of them fit in here perfectly. Um, my 1911 fit in here. So, um, it does hold those, the, um, the 22s, like I've got a Browning buck Mark and, um, a Ruger Mark three did not fit cause the, um, the barrels are a little bit long. Mm -hmm. Um, it didn't hold the revolver, but again, it's not molded for that. You can get these, um, they've got uh, various kinds of cases. They've got cases that hold two guns, hold four guns. Um, they're molded for different things. Uh, most of the ones I saw on their website, I think looked like they were for semi-auto, but they'll make whatever you want. So can you buy that box and then have different inserts put in to fit certain weapons? You can. And what they'll do is, uh, again, they'll, they'll customize the inside. They'll cut it for whatever guns you want. Uh, they'll do that. Uh, the other thing they sell, because this whole thing pulls, I could do this here. You want some help? Here. Yeah. yeah. See, this whole. Yeah. Case so that's what I thought. Pulls out. And um, one of the things they have is, um, again, you can get a uh, a custom molded case, because this is kind of hard closed cell foam here. It's not real hard, but it's, it's firm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you could also get the pre cut. I don't know if you've seen. Um, foam where it's pre-cut in cubes mm -hmm. and uh you can go in and you pull the cubes out and you make whatever pattern you want um so you can get an insert like that for this kind of case if you'd like um this thing holds um and i had sent some pictures of rich i'd have been able to show it to you today if we didn't live in the kind of society that right. we live in you'll get us taken so, off air again. couldn't even show you plastic guns in nope, here can't even do it but um i took a couple of pictures of my guns in here with it filled up i was able to put um about 450 rounds of um nine millimeter boxes in here uh it holds 12 uh, magazines so uh so yeah it's a pretty nice so john thought wick, that uh, thing yeah yeah that's a john wick box if i've so, ever seen one and yeah and if you look on their their website seahorse uh, i think it's seahorsecases.com um but if you look on the uh, seahorse i always do it the late i just type in seahorse and it comes up mm -hmm. but um if you uh take a look in there they've got a variety of cases they've got different inserts different things you can do um these are uh, made in America, and actually the company is on Broadway in El Cajon. 
Um, really? I, I thought I'd seen another address somewhere, somewhere else in California. And then when I was on the website this morning, I looked at the contact address, and it was on Broadway in El Cajon. I'll be darn. Which is cool. Um, this particular case went for one twenty seven. Um, which isn't bad. It's a little oh. bit, a little bit pricey, a little bit more maybe than some of the Pelican cases and stuff. But this is a solid case. You'll buy this once, and that's it. Um, it's got an unlimited lifetime guarantee to it, so you really do only have to buy it once. Mm -hmm. um, and I looked; you can get it directly from their website. Uh, Amazon carried these cases, and like I said, they have a variety of them. They um, have a pretty nice catalog here that's um, you know got all their stuff in it. And um, they make cases for specifically for ARs, for rifles, for other equipment. So they could really um, make pretty much anything you need. Is that the only color? No. This particular one comes uh, in black and tan. But, again, they will make cases in any color you want. If you want to pay them, they'll, they'll whip you know, up a color for you. Some people are into camouflage. Yeah, or... this particular case, this model, this is the 630, uh, the SE630. Um, this particular one comes off the shelf in either tan or black. Mm -hmm. um, if you wanted something else, since they do make other ones, they would probably do it for you. They they have a lot of other, other colors. Interesting. I'm kind of thinking the T-shirt color over there. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you got the money, they'll do it for I you. I have a sneaky feeling. Do, do they manufacture them, you think, over on the, the – the, I don't – you Carolina? know, I didn't because I was surprised to see that because I, I could have sworn I saw a different – california address before yeah. when i looked yeah. um so i don't know that, that that's a manufacturing place there it says they are manufactured in america so yeah. they're made here um interesting but yeah it was good it, like i said this one holds you know 12 of a variety of guns i mean semi-auto is how they um they advertise this one so like i said my 1911 fit in there fine my little glock uh little glock 26 i sound like joe biden there for a minute um <laughs> my little glock uh 26 you know, which is a subcompact fit in here as well. Yeah. Um, I stuffed a bunch of magazines in, so uh, it works great. Wow. So very nice. Nice and, handle. Yeah, and it's very solid. So, I mean, if, if you travel with firearms, especially if you have to fly or something. This is it. I mean, you could you could hear all that latches. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just really solid. You can lock the thing. Nobody's going to break this or smash no. this. They could throw it all over the place. The other thing that's nice, too, is this foam in here. Um if you take a look at it, it's a closed cell foam, so it's pretty firm. Um, it's a little bit different. Remember we were saying earlier, if you wanted to put the insert in here with the uh, the laser cut kind of cubes, and then you could make your own patterns in mm -hmm. here, that foam's okay. It's a lot cheaper to do it that way, and the problem with that is it'll tend to fall apart. I don't know if you've used that mm. that kind of stuff before. I've got um, a case like that that I keep my uh, my spotting glass in that I got from Michael, actually. You're welcome. Um <clears throat> it's a wonderful spotting scope. Merry Christmas. But uh <laughs> but I had to buy the case. And uh the <laughs> case the case it came with has that kind of foam and it works fine, but you could see it's kind of fragile. It's if you used it a lot, it would fall apart. This stuff feels pretty bulletproof. Yeah, so it looks pretty this solid. stuff's not going anywhere. But you got, uh, you got 450 uh nine millimeter in there? I did because I, I wanted to see this morning. It's got a nice little box here. Yeah. So I thought, well, how many can I fit in there? So I just grabbed, I had a bunch of 50 round boxes. So I just stuffed as many in as I could. I was amazed. Came by out the four fifty. I was amazed at the uh, the magazines. Yeah, you and put four and fifty rounds in and loaded mags in there as well. You could. I didn't load them this morning, but they could have easily been yeah. loaded in here. And um, and I filled it with Glock mags. I tried the um, the nineteen eleven mags fit fine in here as well. That would be a good storage for your firearms. You if could, you didn't want to buy a safe, let's say you couldn't, you, you, you no could, room well, because again, you could put a padlock That's on what I'm it. Saying. The downside is somebody can carry it away. But <laughs> aside from that, um, you know, if you wanted to have a secure place, say if you had kids in the house or something, sure. this, this would probably work because uh, again, this is really solid. Nobody's going to break through this. No, you no, padlock no. this and, and this is completely secure. Interesting. So yeah, very nice case. Um, you know, I don't know what I want to say about this. I think I pretty much covered all this stuff. Um, like I said, if you look on their website, just also just a variety of stuff. They make these for, um, for like I said, commercial applications. They do it for military applications. They make a specific case for uh, for an AR uh, style type gun. So, so that's one of their uh, off the shelf things. And I understand you have a way to give away one to a listener. We uh we may because uh, yes it sounds like we do nobody's told me but uh, says we have a prize giveaway what are we giving this away 
If you, not you, you can't have one. Oh. <laughs> Subscribe to uh, to our email list, and next week we'll pick a winner for a free seahorse case. How cool is that? There you go. So anybody that subscribes to our email list this week, starting right now, this very second, you'll be uh, entered to win a, a case for free. Gunownersradio.com slash subscribe. That's where you go to join our email list right now. Hey, maybe you could be a winner. So very, yeah, that's right. I wonder if I'm on the email list. You can't <laughs> win one. You already have one. All right. But, uh, well, that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Very nice. Yeah. You got one, Mike? I no. I, well, <laughs> I have uh, I have something similar, but uh, not, not as not cool that, as not, this. A, not a seahorse. That that one is actually uh, pretty bulletproof. Uh, it is. It's pretty sporty. Compared. Yeah, it is, and it's you know it's got a nice look to it. I mean, you could set things just click into place. Even the handle. I mean, when you fold the handle back down, it just snaps right in where it's supposed so to be. So it'll stuff into a, a so, storage area. Yeah, it will. And like I said, if you you feel this thing, this thing is solid. I and mean, now you, you got to call these guys and find out why they call it a seahorse. Ah. Could do that. Maybe we we'll do that next week. Yeah, have them call in. I think that'd be a great idea. Find out about that. Yeah, I uh, think I will. I think I because I was the first thing I thought of. Why would you call it a seahorse? You, you, you know, you get what you pay for with uh, yeah. with these things too. I, you know, you can. I, I've, I've I've been fooled into buying some of the cheap plastic cases, and you, I'm, you're never happy. Never happy. Never happy. You yeah. get yeah. what you pay for, man. Well, and you could tell with this. I mean, this is a one time. You buy this once, and this is going to be good for as long as you're good, I would well, think. Well, pass it down to your <laughs> See, and here's grandkids. a good reason why we in America should start making things again. Yeah, it's going to be good stuff. It's going to be a little expensive, more so than what you get from China and Taiwan and what have you, but it's going to last. Name one plastic product you have at home that you got from China that's still in one piece. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, you got me there. Everything <laughs> from garden carts to, you know, vacuum cleaners, it just doesn't last. And I told the wife, I want to I don't mind spending up for something made in the United States because I know it's going to last. And you got a lifetime warranty. Yeah, and that, and that's kind of my thinking too. I mean, you know, you could go cheap on it, but then you're going to be buying another one. Guess how many you're going to buy. All right, check out our website, see our Magnum interview by going to gunownersradio.com slash magnum. And check out our latest interview with John Correa. Thanks for watching this clip from Gun Owners Radio. You can watch us live every Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. California time right here on our YouTube channel. Or if you're in the San Diego area, you can listen to us on 1170 a.m. We're also available on your favorite podcast platform for free. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can help restore and protect the Second Amendment, not just in California, but across the country.